Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable three-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty recipes using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, so it is the week before Christmas in the final week of my low spin December. In my freezer, I had um, this Holiday Star Pizza that I picked up from Aldi on a recent Aldi haul. Last week, we had the Christmas tree shaped pizza and we were not crazy about it at all. And so um, this week we are having the Star Pizza. I wanted to show you all what it looks like coming out of the oven. Um, it has, uh, it says festive pizza topped with cheddar cheese, red and green bell peppers, and mozzarella pearls. The Christmas tree pizza had some sort of a pesto sauce on it. And we like pesto, but we just didn't care for that pizza that much. It's just okay. So um, I'm gonna cut the pizza. We're gonna take a taste, and I'll let you guys know what we think of it. Okay, so this one tastes much better than that Christmas tree pizza. Um, if I were to buy either one of them again, it would definitely be this one, the star pizza. Um, but anyway, they're both just okay, but this one is definitely better. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having sesame ground chicken. I did make this on our channel, I think it was back in March. So I will make sure to link that uh, video in the description box so you all can have the recipe. But it's a really quick and simple recipe. It is very tasty serving the ground chicken over some rice and with some stir fried broccoli. You're supposed to garnish this uh, dish with green onions and I thought I had some, but I checked in the fridge and they had already gone bad. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having tempura shrimp from Costco and egg fried rice and then the leftover broccoli from the other night. This is what the tempura shrimp looks like and I really like it a lot. It comes in an individually um, sealed bag and then it has the packets of the soy dipping sauce in there too. I'm not using that today. And then for the egg fried rice, I am using this um, soup mix that I got from, I think it was H Mart. It's been a long time ago. Um, but there are directions on the packaging here for the wonton soup or chicken fried rice. And I loosely followed the chicken fried rice recipe and just made egg fried rice so there is no chicken in there. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having collard green stew and it is loaded with smoked ham hocks and black eyed peas. I did record a video on how I make this stew, so be on the lookout for that. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled pork steak butts and we are eating family style tonight. My parents and brothers are here, so this is why it looks like this tonight. So here are the grilled pork steaks. Right over here are the spicy ones and these are the regular ones. This is a marinade that I use, the Bibigo hot and spicy and the Korean original. We're also having Caesar salad. We are having some baked potatoes. Everyone's gonna dress their own. We've got all the fixings here, cheese, green onions, bacon, butter, and sour cream. And then for dessert, we are going to be having some peach cobbler. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. 